there you are. All of a sudden, the gay, exciting life of the travelling crew begins to tarnish at the edges. Tony, um, I really enjoyed working with him. Hmm. We were we were just talking for for a little bit, and then he said to me, "Would you want to run your lines?" And I said, "Yes, yes, please, I'd love to." So we sat down, and we had a real rehearsal, talking hmm. about the scene and the characters, and and running the lines, and um, deciding what you know this or that way. Uh, and that surprised me. I didn't think that he was so serious, but he about acting, he was really intense. He really was. I, I mean, oh. You seem to know how to take care of yourself. So did Julie. When we when we did the first take, he stopped at the cameras. He called to the cameraman. Did you get her properly? Can you see her? Is she well in sight? And I thought, goodness, he was very generous. And, and, uh, and that's, that's, sometimes that doesn't happen with other actors, because hmm. everyone's a bit concerned with yourself a lot of the time. And then we talked to, uh, somewhat later on, and we were talking about acting and that's where he really went into quite deeply into the art of acting. And I thought people don't know this about this man. They all take him for this you know, silly sort of characters. Um, mm. When this man's got enormous talent, which he proved in later in, in other movies, you know, Sweet Smell of Success and Lord knows how many, then he was, he was absolutely wonderful. It just seems impossible to believe that she died for no reason. Well, it should be obvious now that someone thought there was reason enough. Then you are convinced it was no accident. Murder never is. We spent a lot of the time laughing, <laughs> which, which didn't help the production too well. He had the most wonderful sense of humour. He was also very kind. And he was a gentleman to work with, which was really, um, didn't always find people like that, in, you know, not mm. amongst the actors, not when you're working, but he was. Mm. And uh, he did help me out a couple of times um, when I had a really terrible director in one of them. And Roger actually came to my, wasn't my fault, the director just blasted me. Oh gosh, I don't know. I, and he said, oh, don't worry, I'll, I'm, I'm here with you for the whole episode. And then he went and had a word with the director mm. who didn't, who didn't yell and scream at me again. The, the Persuaders was the biggest budget TV show of, of, of the, you know, of the time. So did, obviously a very opulent show. Working on it, did you, did you feel, oh, this is, this is a this is a big production. Did you feel the opulence yes. when you were there? Yes, it was. It felt like a movie, mm. you know. It did, yeah. and being being set out in in uh, France as it was, in the coast, south of France. Mm. I mean, it just was was wonderful, mm. and it lived up. I'm sorry it didn't actually go on to another series. Yeah, yeah, it is. Um, it could have change. taken another series, but I just think you know some things just don't work out properly. And I don't think the Persuaders has been given as good a, uh, uh, mm, a boost as it should have been. Hmm. It should have been given more. <laughs>